When I say rumor, I don't mean rumor. You don't. What do you mean? I mean rumor. Oh. So. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it seems as though headquarters has a suspicion that there is something very mysterious going on over there. Yeah. So I'm going to take you along with me. Oh, no, no, no. No, you ain't living. No, you ain't. I ain't going. Now, wait a minute. Sit down. This is where you can get to be a big man. You mean this is where I can get to be a small corpse? Listen, we have all kind of cases here. Here's a wire just got from the chief of police in the next town. Yeah, what is it? He says, to whom it may concern, that's you. This is to notify you that Slaughterhouse Mike, the killer, has escaped from prison and is headed in your direction. Well, come on then. Let's get out of here. No. Huh? I know how brave you are. You do? I can see you now, stalking this mad killer. Me? Yes. You're casually walking along. Yeah. But Slaughterhouse is sneaking towards the corner. When suddenly, bam! Oh, yeah, I go. No. You and Slaughterhouse come face to face. Oh, is that? And he says, are you looking for me? And I said, no, man, I ain't looking for you. But I'm looking. Yes, you are. Yes. You say yes. Uh -huh. I can see you now. Yeah. You've got fire in your eyes. He put it out. Right? Old Slaughterhouse goes for his gun. Yeah. Then you go for yours. That's good, but mine will be home. No, I you don't. Slaughterhouse suddenly turns. <laughs> Starts to run. Ego. Down the street. Around the corner. Yeah. I'm telling you that slaughterhouse certainly can run. Yeah, but he can't catch me. He's running in front of you. Yeah? What, well, why don't he get out of the way and let him... Let, let me run. I, you know me when no. I... No! Huh? This is where the real fighting starts. What is the slaughterhouse takes his gun. Yeah. Then he hits you over the head. Then he hits you in the eye. Uh -huh. He kicks you in the shin. Yes. And knocks you down and walks up and down your spine. Yes. But does that stop you? Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Margaret Westfield will entertain you.
Here's our chance. Go up there and offer your services. Meanwhile, I'll search the house. Can I get some gentlemen for this experiment? You said gentlemen? I said gentlemen. You just stand like that and don't And now, ladies and gentlemen, with the assistance of this dummy here, I intend to show. Just, just a minute. Just a minute. What is this dummy, sir? Who is this dummy you're talking about? Dummy? You heard me. Is I'm a dummy? You a dummy? You. That's what I'm asking you. Well, you're not a dummy. Well, all right, then. Uh, I know you're not a dummy. Well, uh -huh. You know you're not a dummy. Yeah, but tell them. They might think I'm a dummy. They don't know. Oh, be quiet. That's it. Everybody knows that you're not a dummy. Now you're talking. But you'll do until we can get a dummy. Right. Now, wait a minute. Let's, let's, let's don't have that. I have things to do. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in my hand, I hold a common, ordinary butcher knife. Yeah. And I'm going to... Whoa. What's the matter? What you fixing to do with the knife? Well, I'll explain later. Just a minute. You're going to explain it? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And I intend to take this knife and plunge it into the skull of the dummy. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. That's all. What's the matter? I'll see you later. Oh, no, wait a minute. You say you're going to plunge the knife in my skull. Well, that's true. You, is what? Yeah, that's true. Ah. Are you crazy? Wait a minute. I'm not crazy. Well, neither am I. Where do you get that stuff? You don't know how I do it. I what? You don't know how I do it. I don't know how you do it. That's right. Do you do it? Yes. That's all I have to know. But what I plunge this knife into your skull, yes. uh -huh, the blade comes in contact with the first layer of skin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now that first layer of skin does not mean a thing. Not to you, no, no. I'll prove it to you. Prove. Remember what I said about the beach? Prove it. All right, you're on the beach. Mm -hmm. You're laying out on the sand. Mm -hmm. You get sunburned. I do. You do. Okay. Now that first layer of skin peels off. Yes. There, by proving to you that that first layer of skin does not mean a thing. Poor now, we come to the second layer of skin. There we go. Now, that second layer of skin contains the nerves and the veins. Yeah. If I were to cut one of those veins, it would mean instant death. Yeah. But, do I cut one of those veins? Yeah. No, I go around the veins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, we come to the skull. Now, as you know, the skull is composed of bone. Yes. And since in bone there is no feeling, we just rush right on through it. Next comes the brain. The brain is made up of air cells and gray matter. Gray. Now, if I was to pierce that gray matter, that too would mean instant death. But do I pierce that gray matter? Yes. No, I go around the gray matter. Oh. And pierce the air cell. Mm. Thereby you suffer no loss of blood. Now do you understand? 
Even if I did, I wouldn't do it. Oh, come on. Get in the box. Man, get in the box. All right, now. All right, get in the box. You know what you're doing. All I got to say is, as long as you know what you're doing, everything is all right. I go, up. Now, what's the matter? What's the matter with you now? What are you doing that thing on top of these books? You trying to kidnap me? No, nothing like that. I have to do this. Well, what? What is that? Well, this is an experiment. This is what you call, um, our, um... Magic tapestry. Magic tapestry. That's right. What should you do with that? Well, you get in the box and sit down. I'll explain it to you. Yeah. You see, you stoop down. Yeah. And I throw this over your head. Yeah. That's right. Then I count three. Wait a minute. I don't want my head covered up. Why, right, what's the matter? I want to know when I get stuck. Well, you want to know what's happening. That's it. Don't worry. You will. I know. Mm hmm right. I get in the box. Yeah. I All right. I throw this over your head. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then I count three. You don't count. At the count of three, I come down with the knife. That's all. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Hey! Man, wait a minute. What's the matter now? Are you in a hurry? Oh, no, I'm not in a hurry. Why are you not? What is it? What is it? Well, how do you want me to count? Listen. Say, one. One. Then say, two. And two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, get down in the box. You're wasting time here. Well, now. Well, now. You know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. You ever done this thing before? Well, I know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. huh? All right. One, two, three. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you have all seen me stick the knife to this young man's head. The only thing I didn't tell you about this experiment is that this is the first time I ever did it. So unless I am greatly mistaken, that poor fool should have a hole in his head. I will now remove the knife and show you the hole. Haven't you got a hole in your head? No, man. The hole is in this cabbage head right there. Well, good for you. I know it. <laughs> and now for my big finish. I'll take that bomb. Oh, this is no bomb. This is a present for my niece, Nadine. Oh, fool almost got shot. Mm -hmm.